I have been waiting to sew up this light lavender and white gingham print fabric from Mood for several weeks and I'm finally done. I cannot wait to share with you the pattern that I used, but also give you kind of the high points, the low points, and some things I learned while working with this specific new look pattern. Stay tuned, I'm about to break it all down. And welcome to Dine In Creativity, or welcome back if you're returning. Either way, I'm so happy that you're here. I'm Rachel Ann, and I'm here to share all about my sewing journey, some pattern reviews, the highs, the lows, and a little bit in between. I finally got around to working with this new look 6617 pattern. I originally was so drawn to it because I loved the shoulder ties. However, I had this vision where I absolutely wanted to have bows and make the ties long enough to have the bow, to actually be able to tie it. Because as you can see here, it looks like she has them tied, but I don't know if they were necessarily long enough to create that really fun bow. With this fabric, it just to me really seemed like it would work better to have kind of that effervescent, I'm walking through a field of daisies with bows on my shoulder kind of vibe. At least that's what I was going for. Just something almost a touch whimsical, just fun. My first suggestion would be if you are going to work with this new look 6617 pattern and you also want to have a substantial bow, go ahead and just extend the ties by about four or five inches and that should give you enough clearance, enough room to tie a substantial bow and still have enough hanging down. Now, I kind of flirted with the idea of maybe making a very exaggerated bow, but when I really started working with this specific fabric that is slightly light, and even thin, I realized that I didn't want to overpower it. And plus with the pattern, you know, of the fabric, I wanted to keep the bows slightly more contained, but I could definitely see where, even if it was like black velvet dress material for some kind of event that you had coming up, how cute exaggerated black velvet bows on the side would be hair pulled back, red lipstick, something of that nature. I would go ahead and rate this specific pattern as more for someone who is an advanced beginner. Could you do this if you are fresh into sewing? I absolutely think so, but there were a couple pieces that were a little tricky for me and namely the lining of this dress. So the top portion, and I'll show you here, it called for the top half to be fully lined. That was and is always kind of an adventure to line garments. If you've watched my videos, you know I am not super proficient in lining yet. This is, I think, my fourth garment that I've ever lined and I'm so happy with how it turned out. I did go ahead because I am a perfectionist in recovery over here and add a lining to the skirt bottom. So let me go ahead and show you that really quickly. So if you go ahead and see here, it's just a very thin lining fabric that I got from Mood. I went ahead and did French seams on the side of the lining to keep it really clean and really neat. But I just liked the way that it made the fabric and the skirt look. I figured if I'm gonna do the top, then I'll also go ahead and do the bottom as well. That's optional and I guess it would depend on the fabric choice that you've made for utilizing this new look pattern 6617. But for this very thin, cotton material. I wanted to give it just a touch more, I don't know if structure is the right word, but um, what would be the word here? A little bit substantial, I guess you could say, um, versus the very thin material that it is. Absolutely beautiful to work with still. I could even see this being used for children's clothes and you probably wouldn't need to line it, but I did love this fabric. I know I'm kind of jumping all over the place here. The fabric was glorious to work with. Cotton is a dream to sew up as you probably know watching. So getting back to the pattern itself, the actual ties at the shoulder, 
I did not sew to the dress. I wanted to have the option to remove the bows if need be. So I did not sew them to the shoulders like the pattern instructions directed me to. So went a little sideways with that one, but that way, if I am not feeling whimsical, so to speak, <laughs> then, or I'm just going for a different look, I can easily remove the bows and wear the dress as it is. There was a, and I'll show you, it was an invisible zipper, which I totally understand why. I know it's not perfect, but I did sew in, I believe it's a 16 inch or 14 inch zipper and it makes it so much easier to get in and out of. I could see how if you bought really stretchy material to make with this dress, how you could maybe even just make it a garment that you pull on over your head. So that's always an option itself as well. There are several different views for this new look 6617 pattern. As you can see here, and I'll try to get up nice and close, there are three. There is A, which is what this particular dress is that I'm wearing, B and C. The C has these little flounces, which I could see being very cute and adding something to the dress. I think that with the right fabric, this would make an absolutely gorgeous maxi dress. And then even adding the ties with it, bring some detail to the shoulders, but then have that beautiful ruffled flounce at the bottom. The pattern itself has 11 pattern pieces. If you are making view C, and view C is the one with the shoulder flounce. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, it was a little difficult to understand exactly the directions on this new look pattern. I mean, it was one where I studied it and read it and then reread it and still could not conceptualize what they were trying to ask me to do. So I did end up going a little sideways, almost kind of making some assumptions based upon other big four patterns that I've used before. but. It wasn't 100% clear. I don't know if you've had that experience in working with new look patterns before. This is really the first one I've come across that, you know, was a kind of couple head scratcher type moments here. Again, that's why I am rating this as an advanced beginner pattern because if maybe you aren't fully familiar with sewing and the different whether it's terminology or directions, I could see where this would be a little bit difficult. It's a little bit of a toughie for me to fully understand. I was going to take this dress off so that I could fully talk about it, but now that I have it on, I actually don't wanna take it off. I'm feeling, feeling good. You know, it's one of those pieces I've noticed that you put on and it just boosts your mood. So I'm gonna keep wearing it, but I wanted to just really quickly share a couple things that this pattern called for. Right from the get-go, the first piece you work with is the bodice and they ask you to make pleats in the shoulder itself which really gives this effortless kind of pleated bunched up look here, which I love. Again, I think that that adds a little bit to the actual dress and pattern itself. When you originally sew the bodice, it is four pieces, one, two, and then the two back panels. When it came to working with the bodice itself, this is where I kind of started to get a little bit lost here. There's a lot of pieces that you're working with. So technically you're supposed to have four separate bodice pieces, two on the front, two on the back. I decided to cut the front on the fold because I wanted to have a nice, really nice clean inside which kind of doesn't make sense now that I think about it because it is fully lined. And what I did is just sew the lining to the right side of the garment and then turned the piece inside out, uh, which really obviously, I know I keep showing you that, but it creates a very clean finish, which is what I am always going for. And so that would take care of sealing that rough edged, bodice front but i didn't do that that wasn't necessarily the reason why it was difficult there were just many different 
steps in terms of interfacing, sewing in darts. And then you get to step nine, and I'll show that to you right here. And that was where, for me, things kind of took a turn. I realized that if I was going to sew it up the way that they were telling me to, I had done something wrong. And I don't know if that was the lining of it or what. Um, in the end, the sewing, the dress turned out exactly the way I wanted it to. I was going to make sure of that because I didn't want to waste this gorgeous fabric from Mood and I'm very happy with it. But the other piece, if you haven't sewn in a whole lot of zippers, then this may give you a little run for your money. As I've already shown you, this zips and it includes the bodice and the skirt as mini garments obviously do. But this was a little bit tricky in, for me at least, putting all these different pattern pieces together. Overall, I can't wait to wear it. I think every time you go out to eat, it's an excuse to get dressed up if you want to, or you know, if you have something going on, it's just so much fun to pick out an outfit, create a look. It's always a good reason to wear something that you love, that you made. I think it is such a form of creative expression. Have you ever made this dress before? And if so, how did it turn out for you? I hope that this was helpful in sharing different pieces of working with a specific pattern, I highly recommend it. I mean, all in all, it was really a fun dress to sew. I definitely feel that the fabric helped increase the fun in creating this garment because as I've already shared, whoops, cotton is so great to sew with. It's so, it sews up very nicely. I see that this looks uneven right now, but I'll be honest, I think that just that one is shorter, so I, I need to retie that bow. But you get the, the drift here, and you can easily modify this to make it kind of more of a look that you're going for versus if you don't like the bows or wouldn't want them on there. If you just wanted them to tie, you were going for like a really casual beachy look. Easy to, easy to modify, easy to fix. That's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Take really good care of yourself, and happy creating.